gentlemen. I was just blasted out of the sky by friendly fire during peacetime. And that's not good for anybody. I can explain, sir. You see, I was requalifying the troops on the mortar range, and uh, the thing went awry. Very, very awry. Far too awry, if you ask me. Would you like to take a shot, Sergeant? Yes, sir. I would certainly agree with the lieutenant's awry assessment, sir. If the lieutenant had checked the awry trajectory, I do not think the lieutenant would have ordered us to fire the mortar in the first place, sir. You... You ordered them to fire on my helicopter, Handy? No, sir. That is not on your helicopter, more at a bird. A bird? A three-ton forest green metal bird with machine guns mounted on its side. You know, I believe that species is protected by the United States government. Sir, you have no idea what it's been like around here. I, I'm trying to enforce discipline. When I was at the academy... West Point? You went to West Point? Actually, the Richmond Academy of Military Arts and Sciences, serving our <laughs> fine nation since 1983. Very impressive. Thank you, sir. You should know. Uh, no, you should know that I have very little use for 40 Academy soldiers. I came up through the ranks. I went to one war and several actions while you were mincing around some manicured lawn playing soldier. We didn't mince, sir. You aren't talking, are you? No, sir! <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more about that whole academy thing, sir. Me, no academic affiliation whatsoever. <laughs> that boat you picked me up in. Was that military issue? Yes, sir. Sort of. <laughs> so you're telling me that jet skis and fishing rods and a beer keg is approved military gear for these ports? Sort of. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of thing I've been trying to tell you, Colonel. This base is filled with slackers, long hairs, and freaks. They don't belong in the Army. Go out there. Take a look at them for yourself, sir. <laughs> Why don't you go out there and call them together, son? I want to have a word with Sergeant Hopkins. Well, what are you going to talk about? Because I can stay. Uh, Lieutenant! Yes, sir. Calling them together, sir. <laughs> I'm glad you got rid of him, sir. Now, what can I do for you? Well, first, get off my desk. And second, I'm on to your act, Sergeant. See, I've known guys like you for a long time. Ones I didn't have thrown in jail, I had shot. Most people find me quite charming. Ow! Yes, sir. <laughs> the troops, if you want to call them that, are ready for your inspection, sir. You have an oddly shaped head, Private. Family trait, sir. My uncle said it's shaped just like an acorn squash, sir. <laughs> tell him to take off the cap, sir. Go ahead, go on, tell Shh. him. Remove your cap, soldier. See, look at it. I'm not even gonna ask how he got that way under your command. <laughs> Get it cut. Looking sharp, Private, very crisp. Keep my shirts in the mess hall freezer, sir. Keeps them both crisp and delightfully refreshing. That's good, soldier. Uh, don't look at him, sir. Makes him nervous. How about that, soldier? Does my staring at you make you nervous? <laughs> Runs like a gazelle, doesn't he, sir? He'll come back, won't he? Yes, sir. And what have we here? Corporal Rusty Link, sir. Turn around. Oh, man. <laughs> Corporal Link works on all the machinery around here, sir. Keeps it running. Went through a lot of uniforms. I got myself a sponsorship with STP. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to think about that one. This is a very important posting to me. This fort will run and run properly. You will do your jobs, and we will get along fine. And trust me, you'll want to get along fine with me. Uh, you want to see me, sir? You want to see me, sir? I want to see both of you. 
I need input from you on how to improve the performance of the space. Well, my suggestion, sir, would be whatever we do, we do it with a lot of value and integrity. <laughs> I'd sprinkle in some honor, too. <laughs> Have you seen the requalification reports? They are a disgrace. We need to clean house, sir, and if you'll allow me, I'm a mighty fine housekeeper. <laughs> I have a complaint. I'm waiting for a very important fax from Bed Bath & Beyond, and the fax machine keeps beeping and spewing out army stuff. Well, I can understand why you'd be upset about military equipment spewing out army stuff. Thank you. My complaint has been lodged. These are probably for you. She's a lovely woman, sir. We're very lucky to have her. Is there a loading dock filled with boxes of pants that should have been in Germany a week ago? What is this? Sergeant, why are there pants on our loading dock? Did you sign off on the shoes, sir? What shoes? The shoes from Milan for Fort Miller. What has that got to do with the German pants? Until the shoes go to Fort Miller, the pants don't go to Germany. Makes perfect sense to me. What part of that did you not understand, Handy? Sir, I do not understand any of it. <laughs> Sir, the lieutenant had us so busy requalifying we couldn't ship out the pants. Lieutenant, the soldiers have already qualified once, and that's enough for me. Now I want them back to work. You are an inspired leader, sir. And you are full of it, Hopkins. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Hopkins, what do we need to do to get this shipment out? If you could sign off on the shoes, sir. Sergeant Ross already has the pies. He'll release the pants to Germany. And the empty plane comes back carrying? German food and beverages, sir. <laughs> Septemberfest? An excellent suggestion, sir. That's why you're the colonel. <laughs> Just remember, I've been a soldier a lot longer than I've been an officer. But, Colonel, what about military protocol? <laughs> Sometimes you need pies to get pants. Now, Sergeant Hopkins seems to be qualified on the scheming and conniving front. I do my best, sir. <laughs> and Lieutenant Handy, I've checked your record. It's actually quite impressive. I think you can handle the spit and polish portion of the military experience. I do my best, sir. And that's how we'll proceed. Now, something for me. Gentlemen, start your engines. Uh, parted down the middle and feathered back. <laughs> oh, you hate to see that happen. <laughs> the boy becomes a man. <laughs> 